Hello, and welcome to this Crazy Talk Animator 3 tutorial on how to create props from scratch. So in this tutorial, we're going to create a customized flower prop from scratch in PSD format, just like this beautiful flower that we have here um, on the screen right now. Um, in addition, animations for the prop, uh, we're also going to be adding them through the keyframe animation method, and I'll be showing you that at the very end. So the first thing I'm going to do here is that I will load a PSD file named Flower PSD. I'll go to Create Media, Prop, and I'll import my Flower PSD. Now, the, the purpose here is to show you the structure of this flower in the composer mode. You'll see that there is a dummy that controls the entire, entire flower, and then we have uh, elements inside that are the flower, then we have the petals that are under the flower, and you'll see that in all the petals, they can rotate with that initial flower sprite. And then at the end, we have the leaves, which are attached to the central stem of the flower, and with, which I, if I rotate, you'll see that the pivot points are set to the stem, okay? So uh, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to create the same prop, just like this file here, but we're going to do it from scratch in PSD format. So we're going to open the flower PSD file in our favorite image editor. Um, this file can be used as a reference if you ever get lost when you're creating these props. So you can find this file under the resources for Crazy Talk Animator 3, the resource pack uh, sample. So if you notice a structure, we have two folders, one called RL pivot and the other one called RL image. So all the pivots, all the bones are set up uh, at the first one and then all the image layers are set up in the second folder. Now this is a bit different from the characters, um, just that in the characters we used to call them RL bone, but now we call them R RL pivot because we're working with a prop. So let me open uh, the image files for my flower. We're going to start from scratch. These are just individual um, PNG files for each element of my flower. And what we wish to do is that what we want is to create folders. We need two folders, as I mentioned. Um, one folder will be where we're going to add all the pivots or the bones. And the second one will be where we add all the image layers. So for this, let me go down and create two folder groups. And I'm going to rename these. So this will be RL underscore pivot. Okay. Just like that. And the second folder will be RL underscore image. So we're going to drag all the image layers into the RL image folder. And we're going to save this. So all the image, all the sprites, all the, the, the layers that we have for flower and petals and leaves and stems, we're going to drag these out, select all of them, and bring them into that one folder. All right. Um, and we're going to save this PSD file. Okay. So everything, all the images are placed inside. I'm going to save this. Uh, let me go back out here. Just call this flower image. And we're going to load the file into Crazy Talk Animator 3. And we're going to check out the structure. And you'll see that the images are all, all loaded with the pivots automatically generated to the center of each image. Give me a second here. All right. So if I click on any specific um, sprite here, you'll see that the pivot points have been set to the center of each image. And there's no structure at all. So we could correct this if we want to individually adjust the pivots here, or we can do it in a much faster way. We can do this inside the PSD file that we created. So back in Photoshop here, um, I'm going to create a sprite pivot layer in the RL pivot with any shape you like. It can be a circle or a square, or whatever. We recommend a circle here and try to change the color. Okay. So let me change this to say green and I'll use a circle just like that. Let's drag this in. Okay. Right at the pivot of my leaf here. Okay. So I want to make sure that it's right at the, at the place where I want to rotate my leaf. Okay. So I need to rename that 
pivot leaf one inside the pivot folder. So I'm going to do the same for the rest. But first, let me rotate my leaf layer here just to make sure that my center, my pivot center is set properly. I'm going to do the same thing for my leaf two. So let me hold alt and drag. This will copy that circle that I had. Okay. And I'm going to rename, rename each pivot with the same name of my image. So this will be leaf two. And if I select my image uh, layer, hold on, let me, let me copy this again. I'll drag for the base of my stem. This one I'm going to call dummy because this will be the parent, the parent for the whole structure of my flower. Let me hold alt again. And I'm going to set one for the center of the flower. And then I'm going to set one pivot each for uh, each petal. So let me select that here and copy. Just hold Alt key. Let's do this outside first. I'm going to set that one here. And I'm going to put this as the center of my flower image. Okay. So this pivot right in the center, I'm going to make sure it's centered right there. I'm going to rename this flower. So this pivot here, flower, because that will be the pivot point or my bone for my flower image. And I'm going to do the same for all the other uh, petals that we have. We have one, two, three, four, five petals. So I will copy this pivot five times and then just quickly rename all five of them. It'll be petal one, two, three, four, five. Just like we have for the image layers at the bottom. Okay, so pedal one, hold up, pedal one, yep, pedal two, three, four, and then five. And obviously, I want to align all of these. They're, these are going to be centered right in the center of the flower. So right down here. So if I rotate, that's what I want my each petal to do, right? And I want them to be connected to the flower. So let me align all these pivots into that center. An easy way to do this is to select all these layers, okay, and then go up to the transform keys, transform controls, and then align horizontal centers and align vertical centers. And just, just drag this inside, and that'll that's a quick way to make sure everything is aligned and centered properly. So now each petal has its own pivot. All right, let's save the file. And I'm going to go back to Crazy Talk Animator 3, back to the stage. Let me open a new project here. OK, and I'm going to load the file again. So all right, right there. So if I select this pedal and the composer, I can rotate each sprite. And you can see the, the pivots, that they're the same as we defined in the PSD uh, file before. All right, and if I rotate each specific leaf, you'll see that all of them have their pivot points. And the dummy, of course. I have full control with the dummy from the start. Just like that. So I can rotate that part of the flower and I know that all the petals will be attached to it because all the pivots are set and um, we have that centered. So um, if I want to make sure that we have these attached, I need to make sure that we have we create a hierarchy with the same nomenclature as we created the bone structure for a character. This should be a parent is greater than the child. So. All these petals want to be connected to the center flower, remember? Okay, petal one through petal five, I need to, con uh, to, to center them with the flower. So I will write flower is greater than petal one, and then flower is greater than petal two. This will ensure that I have that hierarchy set for all my petals. So when I rotate my flower, the petals will rotate with it because that is the parent bone to everything. So copy this here flower greater than petal three flower greater than petal four and flower greater than petal five great so now we're ready let me save this and we're going to load it back into crazy talk animator three and now you'll see that the structure should be should have been created already 
Let me go back to stage, uh, open new project, create media, prop, and reload that updated PSD. And now hopefully we can now rotate the entire flower while the petals can be individually transformed with the flower if I choose to. So I can move the flower and the petals will rotate with it. And if I want to uh, move each individual petal, I can always do that. And you'll see that they all have that center pivot to the center of the flower. So this saves a lot of time if you just do it from scratch in your PSD editor. Okay, so what about creating some animations? Uh, what if we create uh, transform and deform motions inside the stage mode? Well, we can do this with a prop key editor. So all we have to do is I'm going to open uh, the timeline here with F3. Let me set my range for my animation. I just want about 30 frames. Let's do that right there. Okay. And uh, let's begin. I'm going to open the prop key editor and I'm going to select my, my, uh, my stem. Now with my stem, I want to do a deform animation. So I cannot attach my leaves to it. Because if I start rotating the stem, then the leaves will, will, will not be rotating with it, even if they're attached. So when I do deform animations, I have to do another little trick. I have to do everything through uh, keyframe animation, at least for this part. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to set up a keyframe for my stem at the beginning. Uh, remember, I'm going to do a deform animation at this point. So I'm going to select the top part of my, my stem, and I'm going to create a keyframe. I'm also going to choose Smooth Deform Object, and this keyframe is set at the beginning. So I have that keyframe in the middle. Hold up, let me adjust this a bit more. Right there, we have neutral, then movement, and then neutral at the end. That's why I use the reset all key. Okay. So I have my stem um, deforming and moving. So now I want to do keyframes for my, my flower. But first, let me choose a smooth transition curve here. I went to my keyframe right key and choose that smooth transition curve. I think that looks pretty nice, actually. Let me select that. Okay. So this will set that uh, motion curve, that transition curve for my stem. And I'm going to do the same transition curve for the flowers later. So I'll go to the prop key editor and set a transform key for my first flower. This is the center point. So at the beginning, reset all, and at the end, reset all. So I have a first and a last keyframe, which are the same. And then in the center, where I move the stem, I'm going to also move my my leaf, and I'm going to rotate that. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, it needs a little more work. Let me align that. I think if I give it a transition curve, it should look proper. We gave it a smooth one, right? And at the end, let me give it a smooth transition curve also. So actually, that looks much, much better. Okay. I'm going to do the same for the other one. Let me rotate the leaf one more time just to make sure it looks proper. Oh yeah, this looks a lot more, more natural. So let's do the same for the other leaf. I will set the first keyframe, reset all, set the last keyframe, reset all, and then the center keyframe at frame 15, I'm just going to move it and rotate it a bit, and that set that center keyframe. But we still have to give it a transition curve like we did before. So on that center keyframe, let me align that a bit, I'll right click transition curve and choose a smooth transition curve, and at the end also, smooth. And this should make my movement look proper. Actually, that looks pretty nice. Okay. So what about the top part? What about the flower? Well, I can do this. I can go to uh, transform here. And the flower, since all the petals are attached to it, they don't I don't have to worry. I'll reset all at the beginning, then reset all at the end, set these keyframes. And then in the center, I'm going to drag my flower and I'm going to rotate it a bit. Let me rotate it a bit and you see all the petals move with it. And that looks good. Oh, we're missing that transition curve for my flower. So go to the middle keyframe and add that smooth transition curve. And at the end also, don't forget. 
And if I play this back, now you see that this animation looks very nice and very natural. Okay, so we can also collect all of this, all of these clips. Hold up, let me try to adjust this one one more time, the leaf here, just to make sure it's perfect. Yep, that should be, that should do fine. I like it. Okay, so I want to collect all these keyframes and I want to create one motion and I want to embed that. So I'm going to open the collect clip track here and I'm going to select all these keyframes and I'm going to right click and I'm going to transfer, transfer to action menu and I'm going to name this breeze. This will collect all my keyframes. I'll remove them after from the timeline and it's going to create a motion clip that I can add to my flower prop. So if I go to action menu, you'll see that now my motion clip is inside. It's called breeze. And then obviously I can choose to um, copy paste this over and over again. Let me copy and paste this. Is it on? Hold up, copy, yes. Let me go, let me just copy it a bit more, duplicate. And I can make it go faster or I can extend it and I can make it go slower if I like. Let me extend the range right there. So from adding these keyframes and collecting all this clip, I can save a lot of work for the future. I can set these animations, I can embed them in my prop, and then I can save everything in my library. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. We hope you enjoy it, and uh, we hope to see some of your animations online. Thank you.